The NBA was first founded in 1946, which is near 74 years ago at the time that this video is uploaded. Have you ever wondered what the most valuable items have ever sold for? Stick around in this video for the top 10 most valuable NBA items that's ever been sold. What's poppin? Welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new here and enjoy watching the NBA as much as I, then you've came to the correct place. I try to get out at least three videos per week, so be sure to subscribe with those bell notifications on so you do not miss a single upload. Without further ado, let's get into this. For the number 10 spot is Michael Jordan's Converse Shoes. Arguably the greatest basketball player ever, Michael Jordan appeared in the 1984 Olympics, which was held in Los Angeles, USA, with the Converse sneakers during the basketball finals against Spain. The US national team won the gold medal and Jordan's impressive performance led the team to the gold medal in the 1984 Summer Olympics which made his shoe valuable. The 1984 Summer Olympics was Jordan's first career Olympics which added more value to his game worn Converse shoes. Later on Jordan even autographed those shoes which once again added more money to it and in the auction in 2017 those shoes were sold at $190,000 approximately. The 1984 Summer Olympics were the last time Jordan stepped into the Converse sneakers and that pair is the most expensive game-worn basketball shoes sold in an auction. Number 9 is Julius Irving's 1976 ABA Championship Ring. ABA, the American Basketball Association, had merged with the NBA in 1977, but before that, Julius Irving played in the ABA for the New Jersey Nets and won two championships with them. Julius Irving did an online auction in 2011 to get out of some debts and even sold some of his rings which he earned during his basketball career. In the 1976 ABA season, Irving averaged 29.3 points per game and 11 rebounds per game. He averaged a massive 34.7 points per game and 12.6 rebounds during the playoffs which led his team to the championship. Usually NBA stars never sell their championship rings, but Irving sold his rings and the 1976 ABA championship ring earned him $195,000 in an online auction in 2011. At number 8, we have yet another Julius Irving item. Irving sold many items he earned in the 1983 and 1984 NBA All-Star rings were two of those. Irving sold both the rings for $218,977 each. These rings were sold at a higher price than his 1976 ABA Championship ring. In the 1983 All-Star Game, Irving was the MVP which increased the value of that ring. In the 1984 NBA All-Star Game, Irving recorded 34 points on the scoreboard and had an amazing game on the floor which helped him to fetch a massive amount of $218,977 from the 1984 All-Star Ring. Number 7 we have Julius Irving yet again, this time with his 1978 All-Star Ring. This ring was sold for a whopping $238,853. It could be because it's an older ring than the 1983 and 1984 ones, but the 1983 All-Star Ring would have gone for more than this because he was the MVP of the 1983 All-Star Game. However, someone paid more for the 1978 All-Star Ring. It seems like Julius Irving was in a huge debt because of which he decided to sell so many items which are highly attached to him. For the number 6 spot is Julius Irving yet again. Irving won his only championship with the Philadelphia 76ers since 1983. Irving had a superb playoff performance in the 1983 season and that could also be seen during the finals. The Philadelphia 76ers swept the Los Angeles Lakers by 4-0. Irving's performance clearly made his 1983 NBA Championship ring more valuable and he managed to sell that ring for $244,000. At number 5 is a basketball signed by Michael Jordan and Michael Jackson. In 1992, Michael Jackson met Michael Jordan for his Jam music video. Jordan was unsure about this music video, he was hesitating from doing this. Jordan didn't want to dance in a video even with the greatest pop singer of all time, Michael Jackson. But getting to know Jackson a bit was a golden opportunity for Jordan and he agreed on that. In that video, both Michael Jackson and Michael Jordan played basketball together and signed the basketball with which they played together in that video. 
That basketball, which was signed by the two most popular Michael J's, was sold for $294,000. At number four is Julius Irvin yet again. He is practically owning this list at this point. Julius Irving sold his 1974 NBA championship ring with the New York Nets. Irving was getting more efficient and carried his team to the championship. As the New York Nets won the 1974 ABA championship, they became one of the best teams in the ABA and Irving became the best player in the league. The 1974 ABA Championship ring, which Irving earned with the New York Nets, was sold at a whopping $460,000. For the number 3 spot is Metal World Peace's 2010 NBA Championship ring. Alright, we can accept that Julius Irving's first championship ring for $460,000 because it's old and has a reason to it. But what makes Metal World Peace's 2010 NBA Championship ring more valuable than Irving's? So, Metal World Peace or Ron Artist, which is his previous name, auctioned his championship ring for a charity and was able to raise more than $500,000 for the ring. The reason behind this amount could be that it's a Los Angeles Lakers championship ring. Ultimately, the raised money was donated to artists found at Cell University Charity, which works for the mental health issues of the youth who are on a high risk. Dropping in at number 2 is the 1998 NBA Finals Utah Jazz's court floor. Neither a player's autographed game worn jersey nor a player's game worn autograph signature shoes, but the floor of the 1998 NBA Finals was sold and it collected a huge amount. Who would forget the pullback game winning shot by Michael Jordan in the 1998 NBA Finals head between the Chicago Bulls and the Utah Jazz? The Upper Deck Trading Hard Company bought the Utah Jazz floor for the 1998 NBA Finals Game 6 for $1 million. How many times have you seen a trading card company buy the floor of a basketball court? Well, that was the first time a trading card company actually did a move like this. And at the number one spot is the first basketball rules made by Dr. James Nysmith. Dr. James Nysmith, who invented the game of basketball back in 1892, also made 13 rules of basketball on January 11, 1892. Even in today's time, those rules are in great shape. These rules were auctioned in 2010 and were sold at a huge amount. The rules book was sold for $4.3 million, that's pretty insane, but what's interesting here is that these rules were then donated to the Kansas University for free. Another thing which is noticeable is that the 13 rules was sold for more than some of the most important pieces of American history. It's obvious that the invention of basketball changed the world of sports, but getting sold for $4.3 million is not easy for everyone to accept. That's it for the video guys, thank you so much for watching, if you have made it this far, you are awesome. Be sure to slap a like on this video as it helps out a lot, leave a comment below, give me ideas of what type of NBA videos you'd like to see. Remember to subscribe with those bell notifications on if you are new here, that would be awesome of you. And until next time, have a great day.